You got to be strong enough to shake off the jabs of life. Because I promise you, life is going to keep trying to set you up. Jab, 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 jab. You wake up, you're having a great day. You get a phone call. Something happened. It might be small, but it changes the way you feel. It changes the way you think. That's the first jab. You might be walking along, get in your car, start driving to work. Somebody cuts you off. You're on a horn heavy. Second jab. And things like that will happen all throughout the day. Life's just jabbing at you. And by the time you get home, if you weren't strong enough to have personal self-talks so you can shake off each and every jab that life throw at you, it's going to show up. You're going to have an attitude when you get home. You're going to be in a bad mood. And you're going to wonder why. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you didn't shake off the jabs of life. And you're going to try to figure out a way to get yourself in a better spirit. So maybe you go to social media. Looking for something that'll make you smile. Something that'll make you laugh. Maybe you even post a silly pic. As soon as you post it, your ex hits the do not like. Thumbs down. Another jab of life. And you feel in some type of way again. The way you combat those jabs of life is each and every time you get hit, you have to have a conversation with yourself to put yourself back in the right spirit, but also to cleanse it, to release it. So you don't let one thing, two things, three things, four things all combine to become one major event. So every time you get hit with a jab, you have to say, you know what? That person cut me off. Maybe they weren't even trying to cut me off. Maybe they just kind of lost focus and made a mistake. So it's no reason for me to be all mad and stressed out. And you have that conversation with yourself each and every time you get hit with a jab. Even with the ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend that didn't like your picture. You have the power to render their actions meaningless. When you do that, you protect your peace. When you do that, you help your mental state. When you do that, you keep yourself in a healthy place. So we all will continuously get hit with jabs, jabs, jabs. And just like a boxer, you got to stick and move. You got to throw some jabs back. And sometimes you got to knock uh, life out with a right hook. Because the ultimate goal each and every day it's for you to emerge victorious. And when you wake up the next day, mentally prepare yourself for the jabs that are coming because they're going to come each and every day. Some days better than others. But if you set yourself up to be prepared for when the jabs come and you have personal pep talks and personal conversations, and deal with them each and every time, they don't manifest and let the little raindrops become a major storm. Communicate effectively with yourself. Stay ready for the jabs that will come. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. It's a great day to win. Let's go.